Hi Aries, welcome back to the Spirit's Path. This is D, and this is your November horoscope for 2021. And just to recap, again, this is the year of the ancestor. So you're listening to your universal beat and you walk through the birch trees and uh, you know, you're committed to the path that you're on. And uh, last month was all about the king of, king of stones and that wolf, all right? And uh, you know, the king is, is very cognizant of his territory. Um, you know, the wolf likes to travel at night as well. And uh, you know, he's, he's, he wants to make sure the pack gets taken care of. So in the month of October, you were taking care of the pack and making sure everything was being taken care of. But you know, the, the king also asked is, you know, where is life offering you its riches? So, you know, as we close out October and we move into November, you know, look back at the riches that were provided to you in October. And, uh, you know, the other question that this king asks is where do you need to provide support to? You know, family members, co-workers, things of that nature. And uh, I'm not going to go into the other cards because, you know, those are about a year old now. So, uh, you know, that's pretty much uh, what happened in October. Let's see what November brings for you. Okay, so the theme for this month for you, Aries, is the Nine of Vessels and Generosity. So, you know, with with a generous spirit that you have, all right, um, maybe, you know, coming into November, you know, as you're, as you're coming out of October and, uh, you know, that generous spirit, you know, let's just, let's just use it as a, a very simple, you know, we have Halloween coming up, right? I'm doing this before before Halloween and you know a lot of people are decorating their houses and their lawns and you know they're they're preparing right they're preparing for these kids to, and, and possibly young adults grown-ups to you know come up to you know their door and it's that generous spirit of giving out gifts and candy and uh, you know apples and, and whatever right um, that's the generosity that this card, you know, kind of holds holds for you. Now, you know, Vessels is, is an emotional card, all right? Um, it's a water energy card, all right? And, you know, to be generous, you have to open yourself up. You have to open yourself up to say, you know what? I am going to, you know, um, even, even like the butterfly effect, it, you know, whether it's your local Starbucks or whatever, and, you know, pay it forward right buy somebody else a drink that's that's being generous in spirit right generous with your funds right because you know it may you know open up somebody's day you know make them happy and stuff so you know for the aries for the theme this month it's going to be about generosity um whether that's your talents uh, your finances um you know being able to show up at, at functions and, and and lend a hand and stuff um, you know, that all plays in a, in a part of it, but it's, it's all coming from your heart. It's all about, you know, um, giving of yourself freely, you know, to others. So let's see how, you know, the rest of this folds out for you as we'll draw for the first, for the first week of November. And then we'll tie it in with the generosity, right? So then the first week in November, that's going to be represented by the Woodward. Now, that's a life lessons card, okay? And, you know, the Woodward to me is all about strength and courage and stamina. Um, now, the, the interesting thing about that is he's got, he's got the lynx, all right? And maybe that's a bobcat on his head, okay? But, um, you know, the lynx is, a, is the page of stones, okay? And, uh, you know, that's his companion out there. So, you know, here he is out protecting the wildwood forest with his strength and his courage and his determination and stamina. And during this first week, you're going to have to have that in November, right? Now, you've also got the Knight of Arrows flying in the background with, with that hawk, all right? And, you know, these are two um, animals that, you know, happen to, you know, work with the wood the woodward and you know they help keep the the wildwood forest safe okay and they help provide that strength you know to the woodward as he's moving forward the page is giving him messages the knight is is, is letting them know you know a what's up ahead and whether he, ne he needs to be slow or quick but also the ability to make that quick decision okay 
And, you know, with that generosity card, you know, maybe that's in that first week, maybe that's what you need. You're going to need to do, Aries, is provide a little bit of strength. You know, give somebody that, you know, that, that optimistic viewpoint, that courage to help them move forward. All right. Um, you know, have that determined attitude to help them see, you know, help others see th things through in your generous spirit. But at the same time, providing, you know, be like that, that links and, you know, provide the message. Okay. As well as, you know, provide the, the hindsight or the, the oversight of the hawk. All right. And give, you know, let them make their own quick decisions, but let them know what's coming up ahead. So Aries, that's what's going on in that first week of November is the woodwork. Let's talk about the second week for you, Aries, with this theme of the month of, of generosity. It's another life lessons card, Aries. This one's the moon on the water. Um, now, if this would have happened in the first week, uh, I would have said, you know, watch the new moon. But, you know, this, the new moon is actually happens on November 4th. Okay, so, you know, this is going into your second week in November. And, um, you know, there's, you're going to feel some limited effects of what that moon is. Now, you know, for me, you know, the moon, the moon shines brightly in the dark. Okay, so this is looking at uh, what's going on within. Okay, is a life lessons card going on within. And, you know, not necessarily looking at your fears or doubts, but um, looking at that emotional aspect, okay? Looking at the opportunity of, um, as you're leading into the full moon, going into the end of the month, of, you know, what can I do different? What's that new beginning going on in November? One that's, uh, you know, could be hard because, you know, the moon handles emotions and tides and, and things of that nature. So, you know, as, as it's affecting the water, okay, it's affecting your emotions as well. But it's also an opportunity, as, it, as you can see, it kind of looks like that embryonic egg of, you know, an opportunity for a new beginning, new life, uh, new opportunity, like I said, in, in whatever you want to be with that generous spirit, okay? Maybe it's a new opportunity at work or uh, an opportunity, um, you know, for future finances, right? Now, you've also got the Arik there. I like to say he's a bull with horns, okay? So there's some stability there, all right? There's some security there. And you've got the herons flying above, okay, which tell, you know, that's a king of vessels, and that's telling me that there's some psychic energy there. There's also some authority, okay, with this moon during this second week. Okay, so... During the second week, as it, as it relates to the generosity, um, you know, watch, watch those emotions, but look for the new opportunities, um, A, that are coming your way, but B, you know, that you can be generous to, you know, bring somebody else in, you know, to help with that, okay? To, you know, I don't, I don't like to say to, you know, give a, you know, person a helping hand. I like to say, you know, get, you know give them a hand up and not a help out, Right? And by doing that, you know, you're able to create stability in your relationships. You're able to um, kind of be that king of vessels, all right, of, of being tolerant in your emotions, okay, while you're being generous. Um, you know, and when I'm saying being generous, I, you know, it's, it's listening to your intuition. It's listening to your heart, all right? It's doing the right thing. It's not being selfish about it, okay? And, you know, that could be a struggle during this, during this moon on the water because, you know, we get tied up in the emotions of things where we don't want to help out. We don't want to take advantage of stuff, all right? We don't want to, uh, you know, be out there, you know, to be vulnerable or exploited, you know, why we're being generous. So that's the second week of November for you, Aries. Now the third week... going to be represented and this is all themes all right it's going to be represented by the page of bows all right now pages are messengers um 
you know, they also, uh, they're out there with the knight, you know, they're on the quest. Um, the bow, now this page is looking, it's facing towards the, the previous two weeks, but it's looking forward. Um, 